The Ant and the Grasshopper. One beautiful summer day, a lazy grasshopper was sitting and enjoying the sun, just as he did every day. Then a hardworking ant passed by, bearing along with great effort an ear of corn that he was taking to his nest. Why don't you come and chat with me? Asked the grasshopper. Instead of working all day, I am saving food for the winter season. Said the ant. I think you should do the same. What will you eat when the weather gets cold? How will you feed your hungry household? The grasshopper laughed and said, "You are always in such a hurry. Why do you always work and worry? Why bother about the winter now?" Said the grasshopper. We have got plenty of food at present, but the ant was very wise and didn't pay attention to Grasshopper's words. He continued to work hard and stored enough food for the winter. The winter came sooner than expected. The grasshopper couldn't even find a place to stay and anything to eat. He went to the ant's house and begged him for food and shelter. "I'm sorry, but I can't help you," the ant said. "I only have room and food for my family, so go and find help somewhere else." "I should have followed the ant's example," the grasshopper said sadly. So, children, the moral of this story is: there's a time for work and there's a time for play. If you play during the time you were supposed to work, then be ready to face the consequences. One day, a weasel pounced on a bat. The bat, scared for his life, begged the weasel to let him go. Please, dear sir, let me go. I beg you. I have a family, a wife, and two children. The weasel held the bat firmly and said. Oh no! You do not get away from me. I do not like birds like you. The bat pretended to be hurt and said, "Dear weasel, I am no bird. You offend me with that statement. I am from the same family as you. Look at my body. I too am a mouse." The weasel looked at the bat and reluctantly allowed him to go. A few days later, the same bat was caught by another weasel. The bat begged for mercy. Please, dear weasel. Let me go! I beg you. The weasel had no liking for mice and said, "No way! I do not like mice. I will not let you go." The clever but devious bat adapted to the situation quickly, saying, "I'm not a mouse. Look, I have wings. I can fly. I'm a bird." Once again, the bat was set free by the weasel. Thinking on his feet and improvising has saved the bat from two tough situations. The boy was hovering about the kitchen. He noticed a jar of hazelnuts on the table. May I have some hazelnuts, Mum? Of course, dear. Take him one from the jar. The boy dipped his hand into the jar and gathered a fist of hazelnuts. He tried to pull out his fist, but he was unable to do it. He began to cry, and his mother came to see what was wrong. My hand is stuck and I can't move it," cried the boy. "Leave half of the nuts in the jar," said his mother. The boy let some of the hazelnuts fall back into the jar. Now he could pull out his hand. "You were greedy! Shame on you!" scolded his mother. She put away the jar of hazelnuts. Moral: Sometimes less is more. It was a cold winter day. A goat herd had taken his goats to the meadow when suddenly there was a snowstorm. The goat herd quickly drove his goats to a cave in a rock face for warmth and shelter. It so happened that some wild goats had already taken shelter in that cave. While they were all gathered together, the goat herd got the chance to see the wild goats in comparison to his herd 
These wild ones were bigger and more beautiful. Their sheer size and superior beauty left the goat herder in awe. All the food that the goat herder had collected, he gave it all to the wild goats because he was so fascinated by their beauty. The storm lasted for several days and the tame goats that were not given any food soon began to die of hunger. As soon as the sun rose again and the storm settled, the goat herd was ready to leave the cave with his new herd of beautiful goats. But alas, once free to go, the wild goats ran off. The foolish goat herder was left alone and had to go back home without any goat. He was laughed at by all his fellow men for his folly.